Welcome to this week's video and today I'm in a very good mood. I know that's quite unusual but I have reasons to be cheerful. Part one. It's a glorious glorious spring day. I mean this is going to be the warmest day of the year so far for sure. Secondly I'm rocking my new top. It is a soft shield windbreaker. But I don't know what you call it. it it's a it's a cycling top. It's got like a fleecy lining. It's perfect for these sort of slightly crisp spring mornings. If I undo my strap, but it says Morvelo, and I want to be absolutely clear, I'm not sponsored by Morvelo, despite my many pleadings and not answering my calls. And the third reason I'm in a good mood is, and I'm gonna have to stop to show you this, I've had a haircut done by my 13 year old daughter in the garden yesterday. Could have been a lot, lot worse. So let's crack on with this ride. I actually left a little bit earlier today than I usually do, which is unlike me, I know, because I want to try and avoid contact with people. I'm out on my own, obviously, we're still in lockdown. The plan is today to ride up through Stammer Park, where I am now, and then up onto the Downs, pick up the South Downs way around Lewis, and then cycle along the South Downs towards Jack and Jill Windmills, and then head back down south towards Brighton. So I'm just about to leave Stanmer Park behind me and enter the back of the University of Sussex. Literally no one here at all. No sport whatsoever. What's on the I don't know if he's going faster than me or not. Right, at a distance, I'm going to keep going. Oh, yeah. You want to go before me? No, no, I, I just keep it by the same speed. Okay. Have a good ride. Oh, I am just about to pick up the South Downs way. And it is just there. I don't know about you, but I find it quite uncomfortable when someone cycles quite close behind me. Either overtake me, or if you're faster than me, and if you're slower than me, drop back. Just keeping at my pace. I don't know whether I should be speeding up or slowing down. <laughs> Maybe it's just a personal thing. Yep, okay, I'll get that. Oh, I'm off at Black Cat. It's one of my favorite places on the South Downs. Got Lewis is over there and Brighton is kind of here that's kind of hovey more to there and the sea you can't really see it it's a bit misty a bit hazy e-bikers e-bikers
Right, I'm just about to approach Ditching Beacon and it'll be very interesting to see how busy it is. I'm gonna I'll give it a push. Alright. Well I'd have to say it was fairly busy actually that ditching beacon not super busy but uh quite a few people out walking roadies at the top they love that climb so hmm. oh, horse right at the bottom of this very nice descent this is shame i don't go around them pretty windy up here so I haven't taken off my new fleecy top. It's absolutely perfect riding conditions, but it was a chill in that wind. So, this is completely unplanned, but at a distance, that looks like my buddy Kev. I'm going to have to ignore him if it is. Keep back! Keep back! <laughs> Let me move a little bit closer. Have you been? I've done a good ride. Yeah. What's that? That's about a metre and a half, isn't it? Are you just out? Yeah, yeah. I come up the uh, Stanford Park through the university up to Black Cat and then along and back. Oh, that's exactly where I'm going now, yeah, down to Black Cat. And oh, it's bloody lovely out there. I've done it the wrong way. You're doing it the right way, haven't you? The well, behind you, isn't it? Because you can actually check weather forecasts before you go. There are facilities available. Who normally does that for? He's fucking <laughs> left me high and dry, hasn't he? Right. See you, see you in about six months, yeah? Yeah, 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 in the autumn. See you later. What's the chances of that? I've not seen Kev for weeks. We're not obviously allowed to ride together anymore, as nor is anyone else, so we ride alone. But trust me, that was totally unplanned. He's gone off for his ride, and my ride is drawing to an end. Well, it's been an absolutely sensational ride. I've loved it. It's been such a nice stress reliever in all these troubled times perfect perfect conditions and there is actually a fourth reason why i'm in a very positive mood today in a good mood today which i didn't mention earlier and that is it's my birthday tomorrow so anyone good enough to get to the end of this video and wishes me a belated happy birthday in the comments it's appreciated so until next week thanks for watching